Roxy Music and oh yeah and I play that because um, I saw Brian Ferry live at the Royal Albert Hall just before all this lockdown kicked off um, yeah I saw him on I think it was like the 10th of March or 11th of March or something and then uh, here we are five and a half weeks on I haven't really left the house since but it was good um, he's in his 70s now and yet he still uh, he still sounds as good as he did back then and as smart he's always he's always been one of them blokes who's been able to um, <clears throat> wear a suit you know what I mean and he don't look awkward in it oh, which is something I've never been able to do I just can't I, I don't know what it is I don't know what happens to me but I, do you know like when you balance something on a cat and it doesn't like it it no, you know, you just put like a little bit of a shoelace on its head or something. It holds itself odd, and it doesn't quite understand what's going on. I'm like that when I wear a suit. I just feel, I just, I just hold myself oddly. But uh, and it's funny actually because Suzanne's been talking to an old mate of hers who she went to um, uni with. That's what's that's what that's, that's what's been going on on it really during this lockdown. People coming out of the woodwork and getting in touch with you and that. I suppose it's a good thing, but I suppose people have more time on their hands to catch up with people when normally they're busy and all that. But the last time Suzanne saw her, I think, was at a wedding, like 17 years ago. And a memory of me at that wedding is um, I was the only bloke wearing combat pants to a wedding. So I've, I've, I've never been able to wear a suit. I'd rather look odd and stand out wearing something comfortable than trying to fit in and not being comfortable. It's pointless. Um, so I thought I'd just uh, play a couple of songs. Also give you a couple of rockbusters. Because it's something to uh, kill a bit of time. I did I did some a couple of weeks ago. You like them. So so here we go. If you remember rockbusters, I'll give you some um, initials and a cryptic clue. You let me know who the artist is from the clue that I give you. You don't win anything. It's just it's just a bit of fun. So the first one, the initials are AG. That's AG. And the clue is how would you describe Kermit? Right? I mean you might describe Kermit in loads of different ways, but but what's one of the ways you might describe Kermit to someone, you know, out of the Muppet show. So the initials AG there, right? Uh, The second one, uh, the initial is M, and uh, of the artist of the band. And the clue is, I might phone you, I might not, all right? I might phone you, I might not, all right? And then the last one, Initials DL, DL, and the cryptic clue is the the Australian asked the impressionist to do one of those people who's um, you know who's got that disease whose arms and legs fall off. Right? Who is it? The band of the artist, the initials DL, and the cryptic clue is. Uh, the Australian asked the impressionist to do one of those people with the disease whose arms and legs fall off. Right, there's a bit of working out for you to do there. Kill a bit of time, and um, and I thought I'd play this. Um, it's been stuck in my head. I've been whistling it for a few days, driving uh, Suzanne up the wall. It's Judy Teen by Steve Harley. Good one. Wash your hands. Don't drink bleach. Yeah. the queen of the sins is like the 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 the